Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And today's question comes from a woman in our community who's asking, how do I get him to propose to me? Now, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what your situation is, but there's really three things that need to happen if you want a man to propose to you and he's not doing it. Um, the first thing is that he needs to know that you want him to propose to you, right? If he doesn't know that you want him to propose to you, um, he may not even be thinking about it. Not because, you know, he's a bad guy or anything, but just because, you know, sometimes guys get focused on, you know, one thing and they are off to the races and they think everything's fine and they don't know that you want something more. And so, um, he needs to know that it's something that's on your radar. And, and so, um, you know, you might want to talk about other people that are, you know, getting married, you know, have a conversation with him about somebody else and just, you know, talk about how, uh, how hot it is or how uh, attractive it is that they're, uh, uh, they're getting married. And that, that'll give him one indication. Um, and the second thing that needs to happen is that you need to find out how he feels about marriage. And this is very important. Um, this is something that you probably should have figured out uh, before you got into a relationship with him. But if you're in a relationship and you don't know how he feels about marriage, then you need to find out. And the best way to find out is to tell stories about other people getting married and seeing how he reacts to it. Um, and... You know, if, if uh, you tell a story and he acts kind of acts a little weird about marriage and kind of avoids the topic, um, bring it up a little bit more directly and ask him if he's scared of the topic. Um, and uh, if he continues to avoid the topic, then you know that there's something wrong there, that there's a big red flag, and it's something that you need to be worried about. And if he's not afraid of talking about it, then you can have a normal and regular conversation with him. Uh, guys that are interested in getting married, especially a guy that's interested in getting married to you, uh, will be non-apologetic about talking about the topic. Um, the problem lies when guys aren't interested in getting married or they aren't interested in getting married to you. That's when they try to sneak around it and avoid it and, you know, start calling you names for talking about it, like calling you needy or insecure or something like that um, when you know that you're not. And, uh, you know, he, he's trying to avoid talking about the topic of marriage because he doesn't want it and he's hoping that you'll stay in the relationship forever with him. Uh, without getting married, which is something that you should not do if you want to get married. Um, and then the last thing is that, uh, uh, and, and I, you know, I want to kind of preface this last thing uh, by saying that this is not, you're not doing this in a way of uh, trying to be manipulative or gamey. It's just something that uh, he needs to understand and get. And it's that he needs to feel like you'll leave him for someone else if he doesn't propose to you and try to get married to you. Um, and, and like I said, it's not about being manipulative. It's about, um, it's about being real. It's about really having other things going on and not waiting around for a guy who, you know, it, it, here's, here's the thing. Um, if you want to get married, if you want to get married someday, and that's very, very important to you, then you need to decide whether the man that you're with or getting married is more important to you. And while you may want both, if you can't have both, you need to decide which one is more important. And if you decide that the man is more important, then um, and you're in a relationship where the guy is against marriage, doesn't want to get married, doesn't want to get married to you, you know, whatever... Uh, then that's maybe something that you have to live with. Um, if you decide that getting married is more important, then you need to put marriage as the priority and make the man that you get married to um, secondary to it. Um, and I'm saying that, you know, for your own sake. So, um, you know, the way that you need to do this is uh, by having a life, 
you know, going out and meeting people, you know, hanging out with other people, um, you know, meeting other men, you know, um, and, uh, you know, being available so that, you know, you can get into and have the relationship that you ultimately want. So that's it for this video. If you want more information on what's stopping you from attracting Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.